but I'll stop talking. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, our idea was to uh, create, uh, I feel like you've been hearing about checklists for these three days, but the idea was to create a library of checklists um, to sort of distill a lot of the really good information that is out there for setting up projects for reproducible research, but just try and make a, a, a sort of bite-sized information, actionable checklist that um, you can uh, use in your projects. The idea was to build on the GitHub issue template framework. So the checklists themselves are little markdown templates and um, they can be used by just copying and pasting them into the uh, issue straight away in your GitHub repository. But another thing you can do is, um, which we've built a, a, a small sort of uh, command line tool to do, is um, populate uh, the GitHub issue template folder in your project uh, that then you can customize for your own project further. And the additional customization thing you can do is fork the whole library, so the whole project, and then have your own version of a checklist library customized to sort of how you want it to work across all your projects. So there's the basic library, but then there's various levels of customization available for it. Um, so the first way you can interact with it and uh, on the website. Yeah, have a look at it is uh, something Tom was working on, and I'll let him talk about it. Cool. So uh, thanks. Taking from the the library of checklists, which is a uh, folder structure of small markdown files that you can contribute to easily and see in the GitHub, um, we render them out to a Jekyll site. So this is done through Travis to post back to the GitHub pages. Um, and uh, so we, we have a simple list of check list of checklists. Um, you can read it all neatly rendered. Uh, you can copy that as markdown to create an issue in your own issue tracker however you want, or you can download the markdown file directly um, to again put into your GitHub issue templates library as you're, as you're customizing it. Um, cool. <coughs> Shall we go over to the command line? Sure. Yeah. Okay, so we've also got a, a nice command line tool. So uh, over, where's my mask on? Issue there, then you'll just see the standard new issues screen. However, with Checklib, so if I type in um, just my run, let's just run Checklib, and it outputs a whole bunch of help information telling you how to run it. And you also get that if you do the same thing, but you add the dash dash help flag, then it will specifically give you this. Another thing it will do is it will list all the available checklists that it has. So if I do ls underscore this, then it, here it has all the checklists available sorted by type. So if I then want to add these checklists to my readme on GitHub, what I would do is I would uh, have the I'd choose whichever ones of the checklists I want to. So let's say I want uh, the HPC module environment checklist. Let's copy that. Right, I've tried this with that on a half broken touchpad, which is presenting some challenges. And uh, let's say I also want the Zenodo one. Let's say we want to do some stuff with <laughs> Where do you want to put these? So if I then go into my 
local copy of that repo. So P S P. And I can copy that part across. Sorry. I'll, I'll show you what it looks like on this one. Basically, if you do that and then you push it, then you can um, see the issues will appear. When you click new issue, then you can have the options of the different checklists to include them. Damn technical difficulties. <laughs> <laughs>